How's it going everyone, Shifty here, and in this video I want to talk about a weapon that I think is often overlooked in PvP. While I do see it every once in a while, I do think more people would enjoy using it in the Crucible. We all know that high impact pulse rifles, 120s, and 140s kind of dominate the meta right now. But for those of you who don't know, I think that there's an exotic that competes really well in this meta. No, I'm not talking about Dead Man's Tail, I'm talking about Vigilance Wing. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit more about this weapon, and I want to show off some Crucible highlights from my time using it. But before I do, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, so real quick, I want to go over the perks on Vigilance. It has Corkscrew Rifling, which increases range, stability, and handling. Then it has Alloy Magazine, which gives it faster reloads when the magazine is empty. Its unique trait is the last stand, and this improves weapon performance and greatly increases recovery when its wielder is the last living member of a fire team. This perk isn't really all that helpful in 6v6 game modes. Then it has Composite Stock, which increases stability and handling. Then its intrinsic trait is Harsh Truths. This weapon fires a 5 round burst, and when a nearby ally is killed, you gain health regeneration and increased movement speed. Now, I want to talk a little bit about numbers in regards to Vigilance Wing and why it works in today's meta. First of all, it has an optimal time to kill of 0.70 seconds, and this requires 8 crits. That means over the course of 10 shots from 2 bursts, you need to hit 8 crits to down a guardian. Not to mention that 0.7 seconds is a competitive time to kill. Just for reference, high impact pulse rifles have a 0.67 second optimal time to kill. That's only slightly faster than Vigilance Wing. On top of its competitive optimal time to kill, it has a very forgiving body shot time to kill of 1.2 seconds. This requires you to hit 12 body shots or just over 2 bursts. I won't get into the details of its stats, but I do want to mention that it has average or above average stats compared to many other pulse rifles. I do want to mention that its optimal range is within 34 meters, which is a little bit better than the Grid Skipper, but a little bit worse than the Messenger. Anyway, that's all I want to say about Vigilance for now. Next up, I want to show you highlights from my time using it. In this one, I am using a Shadebinder Warlock, and in some clips I have the Empowering Rift, and some I have the Healing Rift. Then I have the Cold Snap Grenade, the Frost Pulse, and Ice Flare Bolts Aspects, and then here are the fragments that I was using. For my weapons, I of course have the Vigilance Wing, then I have Bell Winter's Lie, and the Code Duello Rocket Launcher. As for my armor mods, I'll just quickly show you each piece of armor, and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. Alright, that is it for my loadout in this one. I hope that you stick around for my highlights. Now, let's get into it.
There's one. I love it. No name lost. Enemy has sold advantage. That's why we have fire team. Fight! 